consider anchoring a ship to be an art. In fact, it's also a form of science where it involves a sense of pivot, around which a ship turns and imparts the stalling force to the ship, while berthing a ship alongside a jetty or a pier in tidal or windy conditions. The role of the ship's anchor is extremely vital. To turn the vessel, which is coming up the tidal estuary along with the tide, the anchor is dropped on the side towards which the vessel has to be turned. If the vessel is planned to turn on the starboard wheel, the starboard anchor is dropped. Likewise, if it's planned to turn on the port wheel, the port anchor is dropped. This is done to avoid the anchor chain going across the stern of the vessel after the swing. But before dropping the anchor, the ship's speed is reduced to around 3 knots or less to minimize the chances of chain damage or damage to the ship's equipment and hull. The modern Bauer stockless anchor is in existence since the days of steam propulsion and has been developed to suit the stowing arrangement in the hawse pipe of the ship and with a lower holding strength than the stock anchor. The modern stockless anchor has a holding strength of five times its weight in newtons, whereas the ancient or primitive stock anchor has a holding strength of ten times its weight in newtons. The reason for this requirement of lightness is that the anchor has to be hauled quickly within 30 minutes maximum, when the weather deteriorates during anchor stay and the ship has to haul up the anchor and proceed to sea. A stock anchor will take longer time to haul up and therefore endanger the safety of the ship. In the worst condition it can lead to capsizing of the ship, especially if it is in light condition or in the best condition drag anchor and run aground ashore. Whereas in a sailing ship, the ship is normally anchored deep inside the natural harbor where the severity of the sea condition does not reach. It should be understood that the greater the holding force, the larger time required to haul up the anchor.
The shape of the curve formed by the chain is called a catenary. This curve is like a parabola but has a different mathematical formula when compared with the parabola. It is a physical curve caused by a hanging chain supported at the ends and the total depth of the curve from the end supports is directly proportional to the unit length of the chain. The manufacturing of anchor chains begins with the production of chain locks. Here's a breakdown of the key stages involved. Raw material receiving. Upon receiving the raw materials, an inspection process is initiated to verify their quality, dimensions, and conformity to specifications. This step ensures that the materials meet the required standards before further processing. Batch or lot samples testing. To ensure consistent quality. Batch or lot samples are randomly selected and subjected to rigorous testing. These tests encompass a range of quality parameters, such as material composition, mechanical properties, and dimensional accuracy. Thorough testing helps identify any anomalies early in the production process, enabling corrective measures to be taken promptly. Cutting. The raw materials are cut into specific lengths, adhering to precise measurements outlined in the manufacturing blueprint. Attention to detail is crucial at this stage, as accurate cutting ensures uniformity and strength throughout the chain. Forging. Forging involves shaping the individual chain links for controlled heating and hammering processes. This stage helps improve the mechanical properties of the links, enhancing their strength and durability. Multiple stages of forging may be employed to achieve the desired shape and characteristics. Flash trimming. After forging, flash trimming is performed to remove excess material from the chain links. This process ensures that each link has clean edges and meets dimensional requirements, resulting in a smoother and more secure anchor chain. Crossbars machining or forging. In this stage, crossbars, essential for the stability and strength of the anchor chain, are either machined or forged. Precise welding techniques may be employed to securely attach the crossbars to the chain links, 
ensuring structural integrity. Final assembly. All the components, including the chain links and crossbars, are assembled meticulously to create a complete anchor chain. The assembly process requires careful alignment and proper assembly techniques to guarantee a robust and reliable end product. A marine anchor chain, also known as an anchor road, is a crucial component of the vessel's anchoring system. Its purpose is to securely attach the anchor to a part of the boat so that it may be quickly and easily lifted in times of need. Furthermore, this chain plays an essential role in deflecting specific forces away from the anchor head and main structure. When faced with extreme weather conditions, such as storms or strong currents, a ship or offshore rig may tilt and heel uncontrollably, severely damaging its hull if not adequately protected. Anchor chains are designed to absorb pressure placed on them, reducing the force exerted upon them. It allows for a potential decrease in damage caused by heavy weights as anchor chains and cables are manufactured to withstand substantial forces without harm or distortion.